light in the distance is, sorry about the bumps, we're on a bad road. That's Soda Lake, which is now just dried up. This road's very bumpy with potholes. That's Soda Lake Lookout to the right, that little hump going up. And we're not going up there because you can't bring trailers on that road. And we're not hiking up that in triple digits. <laughs> We just had a stop and had another water break. Even though we're inside our vehicle, we're still feeling the effects of the heat and needing the water. And that is the, I forgot the name of that ranch, but um, it's one of the original ranches out here. And there's another ranch called Traver Ranch that you can visit on the other end. We're not going to that this trip either. But yeah, there's Soda Lake. They have a nice boardwalk path there. We saw a rattlesnake last time. So this time the main focus is getting to the sacred rock, chilling, and whatever we might fill in in between. San Andreas Fault runs through here too. There's the old ranch. She's ready to get out. Pretty cool with <laughs> Grains is mostly what they did out here, dry farming methods. Only street legal vehicles allowed on these roads, as long as that. See the lake a little bit better. The lake bed, I should say. Good. And it goes all the way. It's pretty big, actually. We had the pleasure of coming this spring when it had water. It was really neat. Wildflowers and green grasses and birds. So there's where the trailhead is there to go on the boardwalk trail. Some real neat views of the lake. Look at that. That looks really cool. We're going on to KCL, KCLBLM campground, hopefully. There's a spot for us. We enjoyed it last time. And there's another one we could go to as well, but we like that one. surface there no matter how dry or crisp it looks on top just below there's water down there it's weird we watched it we visited it and then we watched like a documentary thing about it wow that looks neat with the white and then the black and the wow how cool very neat i wish i had one of those fancy cameras Selby Campground. It's five miles down this road. Just to see if we might like this one. It gets us closer to the visitor center too, I guess. And then if we don't like it, we just mosey on down the road 10 miles to the one that we know we like. I don't think there's going to be a bunch of people out here. We haven't seen anyone since we got in here, have we? We've seen one car back there. One car. The visitor center's not even open. There's a sacred rock. Why can't you just go that way? wheels are turning right now. Hmm. Alright, this is as close as we've gotten to the rock though guys. This is cool. I'll show you out the other side in a second. I wonder why they didn't put the visitor center a little bit closer. <laughs> Probably to whittle down the number of people that will actually go. Now. 
can't really see it now. It's okay, honey. Air conditioning, sorry guys, gotta do it. All right, well, keep on heading this way. Safety zone, no shooting. That's what the fence is for. No shooting. Look at the back side of it. True. It's really cool. Area of Oda go hiking at Caliente Ridge. Okay. Steep grade, no access to 156. 166. Okay, so we got another mile to go. Stay on roads, no off road. Pack, pack it in, in pack it out, baby. Pack it in, pack it out. Right, so it's not going to be by the barn because we still have another mile to go. I'm hoping I'll have a couple more trees there. I mean, it could be by the barn or spot right there. But... The windmill is decapitated. On the ground somewhere, probably. Yeah. Poor windmill. Almost there, you get almost there, baby. Yeah, 
good idea. There, she's happy now. Just let all the hot air in. <laughs> Are you allowed to go over to those though? Whoa. Jeez. Too many snakes. So that technically someone could camp right there if they needed yep. to. Yeah, for uh, dispersed camping, these are all options by the way, sorry. We don't have to disperse this time because there ain't nobody here. We'll probably have the pick of the camp here and the other. I mean, even in the spring, it wasn't that busy. It's rough no. out here, people. Those people want a lot more amenities than around here. There's not even water or nothing. We bought 20 gallons of water with us. Yeah. Yeah. green tree. Yeah. Maybe that'll be help with shade. Yeah, there's some kind of covering thing. See it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Tumbleweed to the right. <laughs> I'll be your tumbleweed spotter, babe. Let's camp. There's some trees in there and a little overhead thing. Maybe we'll be here instead. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Tell us in the comments what you would do. Yeah, this is it. Selby Campground. Yeah, cool. Did something new. On yeah. a whim. And there's also the other we want. Oh, yeah. We got to put our thing on the dashboard. And like the video before we get here. But like it. <laughs> Yeah, we have a lot of people that say they watch stuff and they comment, but they forget to like. All right. Wow. Where's the shadiest spot? <laughs> yeah, we're staying here, I think. That's what I want to do. And we brought more shade of our own, too. Which ones? And Bobby's good at gauging, like, when the... Where the sun comes up and down. Where's that? Yeah, Roadrunner. Right on the other side of those... I table. see it. I see it. He's a big guy. What is he running in circles for? He's looking for stuff and dodging, looking for snakes, looking for stuff, man. I'm road running. There's the bathroom. Cool. Oops. All right, we're going to find our spot. Wow. All right, we wedged ourselves in the shade right here. Puppy's relaxing. It's nice and cool in there. We got our water and... We're gonna just chill for a little bit before we set up anything else. But this tree's really quite nice for now. And there's watermelons growing. We'll show you those later. I want <laughs> Dusty. Bobby's already out exploring and he told her to come along, which she normally always would, but she just looked at him. She doesn't want to go out where it's hot. It's like 102 out there. We're in the shade, huh? She's not used to heat either. We live at the coast where it's nice. So we're not sure if we're gonna stay here or not. So what we did is we set up a little spot. The dog was chilling there. We were chilling, refreshing on some water for her and us and debating if we wanna stay here, go to the other place. So we'll see. For now, we're just enjoying the scenery. This might just be a pit stop because the other place had much bigger trees and it was kind of a little bit nicer, I think. But the view here is real cool. And for now, this little shade spot is just amazing. Bobby just tucked her right here between these bushes and this tree. Here, I'll show you people now. I'm not gonna walk over there right now. But yeah, it's perfect. We love this little thing. This thing's been a life changer, game changer. Uh oh, she made a little bit of debris in the inside when she got in there. It's all right camping. Let's go see the watermelon. First I'm like, I want to eat him. Like, no, we're too far from civilization if someone got sick. Let's see if she wants to come. Come, with, come stay with us where we can see you then if you're going to come. Walk. Away from that bush. Oh, it's really windy over here. Try to cup it. Holy cow. That's lavender. Wow. Dang it. 
little Mel's really shielding us from the wind, huh? There's another one of those uh, things for the water where you can't get to the water. But that's where the watermelon's growing, one of them. There's one of them. There's one little fruit, but this one has more. And some of these have double, so if you're camping with buddies, you have like one on each side, like a duplex, and you can share the canopy. Or is it a squash? It's a very weird shaped leaf. Oh my gosh. I'm scared. What is it? It's green inside. You smell it. It's a it smells like a squash or something. It's some kind of squash. Oh, she wants to play ball in 102 degrees. No, 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 no. Cutie pie. No. Good girl. Grandpa tricked you. Make sure uh, that tomorrow I put sunscreen on your back. Nobody else out here. How we like it. That's why we come on these weird days. Bobby's getting water out of the, that's a 10 gallon supply there, right? And another 10. I got 20 gallons in here, right here. So I like to remind people about the safety belt for dogs. It just latches to the tie downs and your dog will be safe in an accident. I just read a thing the other day about someone that got into a crash and their doggy didn't make it. So <laughs> definitely don't want that happening. And we're not gonna stay here. We are going to KCL. But what a nice little pit stop break this was. We're trying to stay out of the heat anyway. So off we go. Bobby's getting fancy playing his music from the phone through this. That's awesome. So on road trips when the radio station takes us crap, we can do that. Yeah. We're learning. We've only owned this vehicle for <laughs> four or five years. Wow, look at that. That's incredible. Wow. <laughs> to view the absolute beauty, I'm sure, on Super Blooms. Oh There's gosh. a car going yeah. oh, pretty quick. Well, back then, going oh, see it? See it. just on the other side of this little knoll above the green stuff. Yeah, a little, little, little source of water there. Yeah, a little spring. 
something. See, you can go through right there, but then it says morning something. Yeah, I'll probably stay out. Or, yeah, I don't know. Wow, look at all that rock too. It doesn't look like a keep out sign, though. It looks like more of like warning uh, asbestos or like. So here's water drainage pipes into one of these. Yeah, that almost, I'm sorry. That almost looks a little bit like those things we were trying to figure out, an yeah. older version, but I don't know. Probably got grades on it to keep the logs and stuff from washing in and down. lizards in California actually and they're everywhere. I mean you're not outside and not seeing a lizard. Ooh. Lizards help with the bugs. I don't mind lizards. I don't want a pet lizard but I mean I would touch one. I would even hold one like I'm not afraid of them. Snake? Mm -mm. I'm good. <laughs> Gross. harvested that squash thing we decided to definitely not eat it nor let the dog because the, all the water out here is topped off because it's toxic water and I was telling Bobby if it's somehow getting a source from toxic water then that fruit that uh, vegetable is probably not healthy so as much as we wanted to try it although plants filter all that a lot of that out oh. I want to try that yeah it's, yeah plants filter oil it's not 100 miles from the hospital no. You can see the tip of Soda Lake. Oh, there's Soda Lake over there. Oh, look at that little burn. Whoa. Yeah, a little burn. Oh, burn area. Oh, no, that's, or is that the solar fields? Or is that a big dirt devil? Well, I don't know, but that's cool. It looks trippy. You guys can even see that out there.
plains. Look past the plains. Crazy. It's definitely different though. Immerse yourself in different, I don't know. I feel, I feel like stuff like this expands your brain too. Like things that you immerse yourself in like this, where instead of just watching on TV or in a book. Because it's definitely different. There's no place else I've been in the world that's like this. No. I don't think there is any place in the world like this. Similar maybe. But they already said that sacred rock is the best left representation in the world of this. And why? Because it's out here. Godforsaken hot nothingness. And you have to get a special code and buy a ticket and like very, very regulated. Or uh, do a group tour with a guy. And they'll bust you if you're out there. You shouldn't be. So don't even try it. And the tickets are only, it's cheap, just a few bucks. It's really just the reservation system charging you, not even the parks. Look at that. Sweaty all of a sudden. Oh, that's why I said that. So when water comes through here, somehow it grabs the water and sucks it up into those? Yeah, it fills it into the outboards. Yeah, that's really an cool. engine. Yeah, I see it. It's some kind of flume type thing. Very cool. Sure. Something else that... Well, that might need gasoline to run the engine, I guess. Oh, there's some piping and some coming down to some other stuff there. So cool. All right, so we need to get back to the main road and take a right 10 miles down to KCL.
problem. Yeah, there's no use washing it. It's been 
bumpy. Okay, see you out to the right. Hope nobody's there. I hope nobody's there. I really hope nobody's there, don't you? I'm envisioning it. Nobody there. This used to be an old ranch. Oh, look at all these trees they cut down. These were all trees here. What happened? Dead. What? That's so odd. Huh. Oh, man. Like I said, these side roads are way better than the main road. The main road was jiggling my job, my brain. I don't see anybody. I don't see anybody. I don't see anybody. So much better shade. We made a good decision, Big I think. Trees. Yep. I'm excited. Right there. under this little tree perfectly here. We're just gonna chill out before we set up any of the other stuff. We're gonna get a bug candle. It's not too bad, it's 100 degrees out, but the shade, it's bearable. And we're just drinking a ton of water. Everybody, he's gonna get the citronella. Okay, perfect. Do you need me to grab them for you? Yeah. Got it. We have other citronella too, this will just do for now. I'm gonna wait for some of these heat of the day. Once it cools down, we'll walk you around again real quick. We'll show you guys the back workshop and the sign over there that has the creatures. This is to hang your garbage, not for um, bears, but for kangaroo rats. It's 100, and, 100 degrees still. It's about five o'clock in the evening. So unfortunately some people left trash, but look at one of the things they left. This awesome thing. And I tested it and it will fit perfectly here on the little edge. Oh, jeez! I just snuck around the side and scared me. And then we also got, um, I gotta clean that up first. Some good string they got for tying off and a couple spikes. So before we're gonna be setting up some, a new canopy over there, we think. Side room's gonna go over here. And I already opened the vent. When you get to camp, open the vent in the windows. And I even rolled that one up. This one can't really do it too well because I have my items stored here. Um, so I might just clip it like this. Let me get a clip so at least some cross breeze can happen. And the clips, back in the kitchen, multi-purpose area, we have everything you need and more. So I've got these clips. Sorry, I'm going to all done handed here. And I'm going to use these to clip it back. I don't know if you guys can kind of see it. Nope. Oh well, hold on. 
All right, so there we go. I'll just keep these in the pocket so they're here for future. And we're gonna set up the side room now and this will clean up later. Brag a little bit about my DIY pouch that holds all of our poles and it keeps us from scratching our rig and it does it in style. So I'll take the batches. In. All right, we started doing our side room but we're gonna do our new leveling blocks now. Bobby's gonna give a shout out to the company. Uh, RV World and Grover Beach. Our puppy's just chilling as we're setting up. We got a canopy to set up over there and spreading our wings. We're still the only ones here. No one else in camp, just us and the birds. We saw a couple cars over there a bit ago. See, you like how I tied up to let some cross ventilated air in there? I do. But no bugs, because we've got screens. Oh yeah, I gotta clean this later. We're doing simple, uh... oh yeah, guys, here's the latest edition. <laughs> Bobby's Father's Day. I love it. So cool. We had to do improvising. It's it's on the playlist. So way in the distance, we heard a helicopter and we can see it. It's kind of flying over towards where the fire was. Maybe assessing the situation you hear it <laughs> she's chilling oh maybe it is coming are you coming now oh, here it comes oh it's a big it is like a military looking one kind of wow what a trip i thought they were hueys but they're not necessarily and they're not oh those are the vietnam ones the hueys Wow, that's a trippy one. It doesn't look military or fire. It's not red. You guys probably cannot even see it. I'll try to zoom more on in editing, but... Oh, wait. Maybe there is a little bit of red. It's huge. Oh, there's red. Damn, that's giant. That's like a bus. Wow. That's crazy. I wish you guys could see how big it is. Someday I want to get a real fancy camera. Someday when I'm rich. Just kidding. <laughs> wow, they really did a number on that. That's weird. And my tongue has been numb since we've been here. And I do not. Whoa. I do not know. Poor dog, too. She, she was all relaxing and she flipped off her back. Well, he's getting out of control. There goes the helicopter over the mountain range. He scared you, huh, honey? Side room is done and we did so good together. We did it, we did it in record time. I only made one silly mistake. This pole was upside down so the Velcro didn't line up and that's it. So, and I attached every one of these this time because this has launched a few times. So this is a little crooked because of it, but that's fine. I got my side table here too. Got the mirror. Are you side Kiki? The blanket. Oh, <laughs> it's like out here? What kind of Kiki? <laughs> oh yeah, I gotta put this back. I'll clean that in a little bit. I can get some things out of here and Bobby put up our, we always put up our trailer trash sign. Ariana has been traveling with us forever and she is worse for wear. I'm hoping some of this will come off with the Clorox white, but her face, her belly, her back was already messed up last time. I'm gonna start letting her travel inside. Poor thing. I've got this all cleaned up. We always come prepared. See these? Bobby said, pack a bunch of screws and a bunch of nails, just gather odds and ends up. And look it, this ground is so hard we can't get our stakes in there. And he's hammering in these so my daughter built her little sleeping area in the back of her 89 Ford Bronco, oh. full chassis. My daughter built it with two by fours, stepdaughter, and with giant nails to secure it. So uh, this is some of her stuff left behind and I'm using and reusing and she would absolutely love for me to use her nails. 
Hopefully she's watching this because she works a lot. Thank you, girl. All right, time for a break. Bobby's looking across the plains. Well, it's becoming evening time. Oh yeah. And animals come out that have to live in this kind of environment because it's too hot during the day. So right now, all my stink bugs came out first. My ants were already out when I got here. The squirrels, ground squirrels are coming out. And you know, rattlesnakes, rabbits, birds of prey, everybody come out and enjoy the rest of the day. We're in a grove of owls, I believe. Oh according yeah. According to the ground uh, specimens I found. Did you see this destruction? Yeah, that's years of use. There's intense flames. Should we take them around to that in the sign over there real quick? Sure. I'm gonna get water real quick. We'll see if that she might, the dog wanted that shade. Under there for some reason, instead of her perfectly beautiful bed in this shade. So we'll take you guys for a little jaunt because we're not gonna do it tomorrow in the total heat of the day. I mean, it's probably still pretty warm right now, but lots of water. Key to it. Oh yeah, there's stink bugs everywhere. We have to keep kicking them out of camp. Oh yeah, in the side room. And then Bobby, you can see Bobby's green umbrella over there because he was getting some direct sun. And Yeah, and this is like the living room right here. If you watch the channel, the setup's a little different each time, but the same. Oh, thank you. High five too by the good work. We worked super good together getting that stuff done. Look at our super canopy, man. First time out, look at that. That's awesome. That's so cool. I love it. <laughs> She's like, okay, have a nice walk, you guys. Go. Too much CBD. <laughs> oh, she's just looking out the little. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I've never seen. <laughs> wow. She's old, taut. That sun's bright in our eyes right now, boy. Face it this way. See if there's any changes on the leaderboard. <laughs> Oops. Yes, we've seen some of the birds. No wildflowers right now. Stop, pause, and educate. Mid-March through May, open to public. Whatever I whatever that says, I've, I already know that I did it correctly. I went online and did it. No trace. Here's all the creatures. Bobby likes these. Go. Uh-oh. Come on. This is the little bathroom. We brought our own. I didn't set our bathroom up. Oh well. Figure it out. <laughs> I don't think this bathroom's getting used much right now. Here she comes. Here comes our little old girl. Do you have a sticker or anything or are you just tired? Okay. Gotta watch out for snakes. Sun setting over there. It'd be nice when it goes behind the ridge. This one has less. Well, I guess the other one didn't. Never mind. Scratch what I'm saying. <clears throat> this is the old workshop. Here, I'll show you what it says. We've seen this before, that's why I'm not going totally in depth. Oh no, lid for their pot. This shed is the last remaining building from the old Kern Cattle and Land, KCL Ranch. Do not remove any part of it. Do not enter and keep a safe distance from the structure. No campfires allowed past this sign. There is tables and cool stuff back here too. We're we gonna walk to the building. I'm not going without you because I'm 
She needs to stay close to us if we're going to walk through this because critters. That was going too fast for you, huh? Say, I'm old and I'm hot. You better drink water when we get back too, girl. Where's Grandpa going? You checking the bushes? I am. Okay. Don't, don't go where Grandpa's going. Come with me. Come on, girl. Stink bug. Come on. Here, do you want to just take it and walk it around or and I'll wait here? Don't wobble it too much. Just show me. Barn. Barn stuff. I believe it is the workshop. Careful. She just did a limbo under the bar. Little nest up there of something. Tie up my horses. Mules. Oxes. And we are just loaded down with stink bugs just everywhere. Stink bug. Take a look at my surroundings before I venture further. Up, down, all brown. Got an old washing machine in there or something. Or heater or something. Kind of looks like a gas hook up there. Yeah. And that's probably a nest of some kind. Some kind. Ventilation on the door. Man made. Might be Winchester made or Mossberg. Stuff. <gasps> wow, there goes a great big owl. I just scared out. I bet it's a little roost. See the owl? Oh, I'm sorry, cutie. It's time to wake up, I guess. Oh, I see he's up this sort of little spot in there somewhere. All right, I'll get out of the owl's place. It's den. There it goes. It went up in this tree over here. I seen it. Scared an owl out of there. Oh, no. and it landed in this tree. Uh -huh. Can you show this side? I think that side that has all those other cool animals that are here. Mule deer, I think. What is that? It's like a. Oh, yeah, the pronghorn. Pronghorn. That's right. Blunt nosed leopard lizard or rattlesnake. San Joaquin antelope squirrel. San Joaquin. Kit fox, king snake, coyote, horned lizard, oops, tool elk, tarantula, love them, giant kangaroo rats, and burrowing owl. I just made afraid. And there's a big map. And there's the map. And I don't understand this water. It's for the personal use of the campground guests. While camping at this campground, there is no water here. Not even in the bathroom, right? Uh, no, but there's, uh, 
I seen uh there's some way to turn water on around, I think. Really? Okay, I just got done tidying up the space. You know, there's always a few things that fall down. I needed to get lanterns and batteries and stuff out. This was a newer addition. It's great for blocking out light. I just added the Velcro and up up on the sides of this. And it can be this way to block light for us, all the way up. Um and I made the interior blackout on that. Interior blackout with um pockets for me. So I have a headlamp that we bought last fall on a trip that we always forget to use. So I'm gonna wear that. I got more citronella and the party supply. And I already love this little cup holder thing. It's so cool. Someone else either forgot it or Bob left it on purpose. And Bobby's starting dinner. So uh, side room's all good. Can't really see in there. Sorry, it's dark. You'll see it in the morning. You ready to party? Our own way of partying? Party! Party lights! <laughs> uh, These used to be in our room, but... Just one would burn a little bit. I could smell something. Yours got burnt, you said? <laughs> so it's like that. Here's some citronella. We'll go check on the chef in a minute. And there's more to the party. I'll show you in a second. So check out our headlamps we bought. Uh, Am I shining towards you? Oh no. No, I just don't want to blind. Uh... So um, the, let me show the side little thing. So it has this little feature too, where it can, oops, sorry, my hand's in front of it, adjust. And then it has a circle light and a band light. These are awesome. And look what else, babe. Let's do our party glow sticks. Oh yeah. Oh, For the hypnotic that we're not gonna drink. Glow sticks are fun. They stew. These are super old too, so hopefully they still work. Nope. It said, no way. It said crack them and shake them. Aw, hold on. Well, the party's over because those <laughs> were duds. Sucks. What a bummer. They were old though. Oh yeah, let's go see what's over here. Let me throw right. these. It's almost cooked? I'm thinking cooked. Oh gosh, I need to get our plates and stuff then. And I brought the ranch too in the fridge. Dang, you just grilled that up on the grill sheets? I think so. And half and half, we each get half. Okay, let me go do some stuff. We gotta get our plates. And paper towels. Uh-oh. Oh, something if you got on that. That's weird. Plates. Um, do we have napkins? That'd be easier. Napkins in the napkin drawer. And then I gotta go get the wrap out of the fridge. I'll bring you guys. The fridge is pretty cool. I'm gonna give this to him first. Gotta close this way. I'm loving the headlamp headlamps I'm in. I gotta find the ranch in our fridge. Hopefully it's not buried. There, no, that's the man. There it is. Not too bad. This is gonna be yummy. I'm excited. And we gotta get to bed. We gotta go early to the thing before the heat. Okay, I got it. Is everything cool? Everything is cool. We can just both sit on this side because I put the thingy here. Ooh, look at that. I don't know why I have both. Under that for transportation. Mm -hmm. You got to cut half and half and switch. Half front for you, half front for me. Aw, is the flame up a little high? It'll be fine. We like crispy. Oh, let me bring the candle over. You don't need anything over there. That's none of your business. You should drink some water before bed, the little dog. The little baby girl. Bugs. Ooh. Definitely need to refill the water before bed. 
her bed away and that stuff away. Oh, the prosciutto. Prosciutto. What's that? Prosciutto. The raw meat shit. What are you talking about? What? Prosciutto, prosciutto, whatever the <laughs> it's called. This is what he was talking about. I had no idea what the... Because I didn't buy it at the store. I didn't know what it was. I don't want that. My tummy can't handle it, so he's going to eat all those. Looks good, though. So we'll switch half and half. We're seeing absolutely crazy lights in the distance. We do not know what is going on. It's kind of creepy, actually. It's freaking me out. Oh, it's the moon. Oh, my God. First, we're like, it has to be a fire. Like, do we need to start packing up? Bro, I was about to pack up because it's getting bigger. Oh my God, Bobby grabs his binoculars. Uh, Holy crap, look at, look at that moon coming up like that. It is bright and yellow orange because of the fires that have been here, but holy crap. I'm sure wow. you guys cannot even see that, but holy crap. Her and I are chilling in here. We just have the orange string lights and these white string lights that we do. Um, Bobby's going to be in bed soon. Everything's packed up because we're heading out to butt crack of dawn tomorrow. Um, time to relax. It's still hot, though. It's stuffy in here. I'm going to turn the fan back on. All right. There was a whole pack of coyotes howling out there, which is really weird. My God. <clears throat> I didn't think they were out there. I don't remember seeing coyotes, coyotes out there. And I guess all they get to eat are those little rats. I don't really particularly like coyotes. It's a full moon night too, so they'll be out there hunting tonight. Hopefully there'll be plenty of hunting. I might have Bobby sh show you guys the moonlight because it's super bright out there. Do you see them? No. He's flashing, he's flashing. Here, show the moonlight, moonlight out there. Coyotes, honey. No. I thought I heard them. I hear all the animals. Out doing a little work. If I can't keep my head held high enough, I'll just speak love and watch the smiles come. Thanks for watching. Bring my spirits up. Don't forget to stop and smell the flowers. There's some shit I